Just saw a TikTok of Uvalde parents struggling at work. Yeah. She's still having to go to work. The mom said she can't take FMLA because she's part-time with no benefits. Her child survived, but is now completely traumatized. She is terrified to leave her mom's side. Her child texted her over and over while she was at work to please come home. That she needs her. Her child has been sleeping in bed with her mom and dad since it happened. An honestly asshole Abbott should have the state grant these parents paid leave to be by their children's side. They need to feel safe. I saw another interview of a victim that survived while in the classroom. Say her son is having severe nightmares and wakes up screaming every night. She said she's trying to find him counseling. The fact a counselor hasn't already been provided to these kids free of charge is a damn shame. Yet Abbott keeps pushing the mental health excuse, yet doesn't seem to care about the current state of the children's mental health. Mothers should not have to be the ones searching for one. I'm so so angry over all of this. Pouting. This is why I never for a second believe any unemployment stats. Part-time with no benefits should not be part of the employed stat. But it is. So they get to gaslight the whole country with those numbers. Welcome to America where we thank your child for their sacrifice so that those precious guns may be unharmed loudly crying loudly crying. Can you post the TikTok? I'd like to donate to the mom so maybe she can take the time off. Damn it we need UBI. In situations like this bump it up extra for a few months and allow those parents to stay home with their babies. You won't see politicians like Abbott lifting a finger to do anything but harm. He's almost mentally and physically incapable of doing good for people. It's ludicrous that an 18-year-old can just walk into a gun shop and purchase an assault rifle. You're not allowed to drink. But you're allowed to purchase tools designed for the express purpose of killing people. Our country is insane. I am starting to get to the point where if mental health is the problem we have to let them have it. If anyone wants to kill themselves please don't take a school class with you. Try to TSKE as many billionaires and senators with you that made your loaf a living hell from afar. Make sure they know their chances of dying are rising. As a recent refugee from Texas. Let me help. Greg Abbott only cares about you if you are a white male with a large check and criminal intentions. Against POC and women. The state of Texas is not interested in your problems. I had my identity used in an attempt to file for unemployment last August. The state agency called me last week to start on my complaint. If you need health care, go to church. Texas churches, mostly Southern Baptist, will give you a gun, sexually abuse you, then offer thoughts and prayers. Health care? ha. The mental health line is just an NRA deflection tactic. We're never going to go door to door to assess everyone's mental health. Nor are Republicans going to fund mental health support anytime soon. It's deflection. Plain and simple. Other developed countries have the same rates of mental health problems it's not mental health. Greg. It's the guns. How pro-life people work. I wish I was incredibly rich so I could actually do some good with money instead of the heartless. Bastards that accumulate zeros on their bank accounts so they can feel smug about being rich. Don't forget. People like Abbott only care about children before they're born. Afterwards they need to fend for themselves. Pouting. I know this is against the rules and I might get banned for this. But it's time people used their gun rights the way they were intended. Dismantling a corrupt government. If you're not going to use your gun rights correctly, get rid of them. Because they're only causing pain. 
the next time someone decides to become an active shooter and murk a bunch of people. At least try to take out some of the elites. I just read he cut funding to mental health services also. Supposedly to the tune of $200 million, maybe a typo. So, he's stating it's mental health issues yet chopping the leg off them so they can't provide the services he says are needed. America. Training tomorrow's mass shooters today. Just remember that Republicans care about fetuses. But once you're in the world well you need to pull yourself up by your bootstraps no matter how young you are. Don't be a welfare leech. Get your own counselor. At least that is the GOP way. My work would have been like, just send the kid to daycare. NRA should be paying for all of this. I think I know where the next mass shooting should be, in the boardroom of her company. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.